Interested in writing songs? Well, this week I'm going to talk all about my songwriting process and how I go through that entire thing. Um, so buckle up because this week is going to be a fun one. Okay, so I've been waiting a little bit to make this video because I needed to be in like the songwriting like mood. So tonight I was in the songwriting mood and uh, on the back of this copy of the Justin Bieber song, Love Yourself, I wrote down the first verse bridge, not bridge, first verse, pre-chorus and chorus to a song that I just started working on. Um, and here is how the process went from beginning to end. Whenever I am in the mood to write a song, and this is something you can use yourself, I start to feel it a little bit. You know, you start to like think of it, you start to think of like the melody and the tune in your head. But um, really, for me, it comes down to whatever is happening right here on the guitar. So tonight I was just sort of sitting in my bed um, and I had the capo on fret four and I was just feeling a like, So there we go, we have that. And then that's sort of when I'll start to sit down after getting a little tune going, I'll start to feel a melody uh, after a little bit. And usually it's 10 to 15 minutes after playing it. So I'll be sitting there like. And I'm just like, okay, what can I, what can I do with this? What can I do with these pieces that I'm getting? Uh, it all comes down to like the little pieces that I'm grabbing from here and from over there. I started to feel sort of like a, almost like a free bird tune in my head, but then I wanted to change up the chords a little bit because you know, you don't want to just copy someone else's song. So I was feeling like. You're a shy girl. Oh, look at that. We got some lyrics in there. So I was, I was feeling that tune and then the words shy girl came out. So that was the starting point. That was like, okay, so now we have a scene set. So I've set the sort of idea, this scene around a shy person and a not shy person, a person seeing this other person. And then I wrote on top of that scene. So I ended up with, for this verse, just like, you're a shy girl. I see you sitting in the back of the room. You got a million things going on. I think that's cool. You're not too much And I know you don't like attention But I wanna show you that it's okay to look like a fool See? So I'm sort of taking that idea of the shy girl Putting a confident person in the mix And sort of this confident person is looking at this shy person and saying Hey, let me show you what it's like to be me for a little bit Or what it's okay, like that it's okay to get out of your shell almost so that sort of came into my head. And I think if you're into like the sort of storytelling type of writing, this is something that can really, can really be used in your own songwriting or your own ideas for literature and whatnot. But yeah, I think this is definitely something that anybody can use in any form of um, art. So then now we've got our first, like first little section of a verse. So now we need to lead into, okay, where's this gonna take us? Where's the chorus gonna go after this? What kind of tune do we want? So you can use the same chord progression as your um, verses in your chorus. I've done it plenty of times before, but I wasn't feeling it for this one. I didn't feel a two chord progression was really gonna cover me. So I started to think and I was like, okay, well, what if we took it to the minor? So we go from the C down to an A minor, which is the relative key. So uh, I grabbed that and I was like, okay, well, we need to change up how we're playing if we're gonna be going into a pre-chorus into a chorus because even if you're using the same chords you want the song to pick up you want it to sound different you got to have that that hook that gets it by the chorus and you can write songs going from the chorus back or going from the pre-chorus that you thought of an idea for you can write it from any point in the song but specifically right now for this song that i just um started working on i started from the verse going from the verse and then going into the pre-chorus I ended up going with like a and so I started to pick up that sort of into the A minor G F um, 
and then I started to come up with a melody and they didn't quite match what I wanted. So I had to mess around with those three chords a little bit more to where the melody matched up with the chord progression, which is a common thing that stops me with, with a song is I can't figure out what chords I want with what pitches. And so, but this time it actually ended up being pretty easy. What I ended up doing was taking an A minor, G, A minor, F, A minor, G, F. Um, and then I thought of sort of something around that melody. So before we had the, I want to show you that it's okay to look like a fool. And then now we're going into that pre-chorus that I just explained. So are you sure it's okay tonight to take a step out on the front line and make the most of what we are here to do? So now the confident person is taking the other person, the shy person, out somewhere. They're gonna make the most of what they're here to do. So I'm sort of imagining this in like a high school, college setting. They're gonna make the most of this time that they have, the, the most of being young, being able to do this kind of thing. So they're gonna make the most of what we are here to do. And then I just sort of repeated the same chord progression again, which is very common. I'll use, I'll just do the same kind of phrase twice. So here we have, I'm right at your side and I won't be out of your sight. So let's pretend we haven't got a clue. And then this is sort of the turning point in the song. This is the point whenever it's gonna and run. So it's gonna pick up now, um, which is important in the song. There are songs that you can do this completely. So if I decided to do it, I'm right at your side and I won't be out of your sight. So let's pretend we haven't got a clue and run. Be free. Tonight won't be what we wanna be. Let's run. Shout out. Um, yeah, you could definitely do that. You can take a chorus and make it just very beautiful, very pretty. I haven't decided everything about this song right now, but that's two different ways you can do it. So I could have built up and been like, and run. Be free. Tonight won't be what we wanna be. Let's run. Shout out. Everything we've been thinking about. See? So there's two very different ways it can go there. Um, and it's not only that, I could go with somewhere in the middle. So like, so let's run, be free. Tonight will be what we want to be. Let's run, shout out. Everything we've been thinking about. Obviously, you can see there, those are two very, or three very different ways of putting the song in the same setting in the same setting the same words same melody it's just three different ways you can play it um and even if you wanted to i could use it that very slow way that makes people just really sit there and listen to your voice um or the way that is hyping everybody up in the room depending on whether i have a full band or whether it's just me so it's really different versions that can be used for different things but i think the way that i'm writing it right now i would like to sort of um, you know, pick it up and run. So I'd like to really pick up the song, get it going. Something I haven't explained yet that I should have gone over earlier was after the pre-chorus, I went back to using C instead of A minor. So the pre-chorus is going to that A minor, the... But then when I get to the chorus, it's... So... You can see there's just slight differences there, but it makes the song, it makes it full. It gives us a lot of um, differences and you can really tell the difference between that pre-chorus to the chorus. So finishing up, up what I have so far, I have, let's see, I'm just gonna go through the chorus with you because what I do in the chorus a lot of times is there's that one part that people will latch onto, that one really catchy portion. So I already did the let's run portion, but um, let's run, be free. Tonight won't be what we want to be, let's run, shout out, everything we've been thinking about, I think that I like who you are, so I'm just gonna reach for the stars and run, no doubt in my mind. So 
there you have our chorus. That section itself had a couple of different changes in it. The first two stanzas were the same. Um, let's run, be free, tonight will be what we wanna be. Let's run, shout out everything we've been thinking about. So you're taking those two people and throwing them into this setting where they're, they are letting themselves go for the night, just having a good time together. But then you have them sort of delving a little bit deeper. The second half of the chorus, I say, I think that I like who you are. So I'm just gonna reach for the stars. This person, this confident person, is gonna go out of their way to do something. And run, no doubt, in my mind. They're obviously saying right there, like, hey, I don't have any doubts, I'm gonna go on a limb and say something. There's something in there, something that's up to the person's interpretation. Um, maybe they're asking them out, maybe they're gonna go in for a kiss, something like that. But yeah, so this is what I have so far, all in red on the back of Love Your... Is it love? Yeah, it is Love Yourself, Justin Bieber. And this is all just me taking you through my thought process. Yes, it's very quick. Yes, it it melts together really odd. And sometimes I stumble over myself when I try to explain it. But what did I go over? Step one, we have the image, sort of the idea in your head, what you want to write about. Step two is finding that, that core, the chords that you want. Um, underneath sort of the music that's gonna lead your scene and a lot of times you can pick this up by mood so this was very like dreamlike very um, longing almost very in the moment so I picked sort of more wide open chords more like you know you can sort of feel a flow there as opposed to one of my other songs called answers it's all about and I had the image of the song before I wrote it it's all about anxiety and inner self, and it's it's all about de like depth of a person. So like the um, when I open up, it's so you can feel that it hits hard, it comes right at you. But that's not what you want in this kind of song. You know, I'm imagining a person nervously going up to someone and asking them, "Hey, do you want to do something tonight?" while that other one is talking about, I've got a lot of stuff going on, let me throw it at you. Two very different messages, two very different sounds. That's how I go about it. Start out with the image, then go into the chords, and then I come up with my melody, and then put the lyrics over top of that melody. I think that's all in the same step. Basically, step three right there is coming up with the melody, but also coming up with those words, because I'll basically come up with a stanza at a time. So when I was sitting here writing, I was like, you're a shy girl. See us sitting here in the back of a room. And then I would write that down and I would play it a couple of times and then try to find that third line, which was, you got a million things going on and I think that's cool. So you can sort of, you can sort of feel it. And as you get into like the next stanza, think of that same melody and then think of words and a message that matches all your other stuff to fit in. Depending on the kind of person you are, you might set it down for a little bit until you can think of something else. Me, I trudge through it until I finish the song. Because I know that if I close out my phone, close out the note tab, I am not coming back to it probably anytime soon. So I think that's all I really needed to explain today. If there's anything else I need to say, I will put it in the video at a later date. This will be coming out after New Year's, so Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, it's 2020. I'm recording this before Christmas because I am in a songwriting mood tonight. But I know this will be coming out after New Year, so Happy New Year. If you liked what you saw here, and if you thought it was good information, then um, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and come back anytime because I will be doing more stuff on songwriting and like my own music as well. If you would like to check out anything else I do, down in the description there are links to my Twitch channel, my Facebook page, my Instagram, anything like that so you can keep up with everything that I'm doing in my daily life. And on top of that, just thank you for watching the video. Check out everything else on the channel. And if you have any songwriting tips for anybody that might be looking at this video, comment that down below because I'm sure there's other people who could use some tips. And there's probably people who've been writing songs longer than I have that have tips for people out there as well. So thank you for showing up. Um, enjoy and come back next Friday for another video. Mm -hmm.